Coming up on today's show, a recently filed patent shows how Rivian wants to extend the range of its R1D electric pickup even further than it can travel on a single charge, and there's no engines involved. Tesla gets ready to start leasing Model 3, and Audi pays homage to the original Audi Quattro and that famous ski jump drive with an e-tron. These stories and more coming next. Welcome back to another roundup in the world of cleaner, greener, safer and smarter transportation. It's been a crazy week here at the studio and we've had several new projects kick off. So believe me when I say I'm glad to be here in this nice, comfortable virtual studio. Rivian's R1T electric pickup, while let to enter production, has already caused quite a stir in the automotive world thanks to its high performance and massive battery pack. Not content with the 400-mile range of one of its 180-kilowatt-hour battery pack variants, we learned this week that Rivian has filed a patent for a modular liquid-cooled removable auxiliary battery that would fit in the R1T's pickup bed, much like some pickup truck toolboxes do. With the extra battery, who knows what the extra range will be? Unions have long worried that the switch from internal combustion engine vehicles to electric ones would have a major impact on the number of jobs in the automotive production world. With less complex cars to make, the argument has always been that there will be less skilled jobs needed. This week, BMW disproved that theory, announcing a massive hiring push at its Dingolfing factory, which will see up to 2,000 jobs created. These jobs, mostly in motor manufacturing, will help bring the iNext EV to market by 2021. Tesla has now produced more than 200,000 Model 3 electric cars. At least that's according to several sites, including Bloomberg, which have been tracking VIN numbers and deliveries since Model 3 began production a year and a half ago. Bloomberg notes that Tesla has registered nearly 300,000 VINs with NHTSA, but its own reader-submitted VIN number database shows Tesla is well into the 200,000th vehicle and is continuing to accelerate as more Model 3s are made. Volvo has officially begun pre-production deliveries of limited numbers of FL electric trucks. While series production isn't due to start on it and the Volvo FE electric until the second half of this year, these early models will be pressed into service in real-world applications at Renova, DB Schecker and TGM. For those who don't know, the FL trucks are Volvo's smallest trucks, but are found throughout the world in duties ranging from fire trucks and recycling vehicles through to medium duty haulage, tipper truck and city delivery duties. Tesla caused a little panic this week when it removed mention of the standard range Tesla Model 3 from its website. Now customers visiting Tesla.com only see the Model 3 mid-range, Model 3 dual motor and Model 3 dual motor performance listed. There are a whole host of reasons why this spec has been removed from the site, but without any firm word from Tesla, it's all just speculation. It's most likely that the Model 3 standard range will return at some point or will be sold as a software limited variant of the mid-range model. BMW and Daimler have now officially combined their former rival mobility service companies, which both companies will now hold joint responsibility for. Five independent joint ventures have been founded with their own CEOs. ReachNow, ChargeNow, FreeNow, ParkNow and ShareNow. ReachNow focuses on offering multimodal transportation with smartphone paying. ChargeNow focuses on EV charging and ParkNow focuses on helping customers find a place to park. FreeNow helps consumers find rental vehicles and taxis, while ShareNow is an ad hoc car rental service. Volkswagen has launched a pilot project in southwest Germany to refine its electric car battery recycling strategy. Batteries will either be reused in Second Life projects or, if they are not suitable, ground down and dried into so-called black powder. An hydrometallurgical process will then be used to separate the various raw metals for reuse. The goal to recycle 97% of all raw materials from batteries, up from an industry standard of 53% today and up from the pilot project's estimated start of 72%. 
If you've been waiting for a Tesla Model 3 because you've wanted to lease, not buy, this story is for you as Tesla appears to be readying itself to lease Model 3 to customers. The claim comes from inside sources at Tesla who shared an internal email announcing that employees will soon be able to lease a Model 3, within two weeks in fact. While Tesla has confirmed it is preparing a leasing program, it says the dates are not final nor has it confirmed when Model 3 leasing for customers will go live. To date, Tesla has refrained from leasing Model 3 because of the negative impact these leases will have on its financials. As it prepares to bring its first long-range electric car into production, Volkswagen has reached out to its suppliers and told them to cut their own carbon emissions or face losing its custom. It's all part of a massive roadmap at Volkswagen which targets a completely zero carbon production process and, say insiders, has resulted in Volkswagen giving its suppliers an S score, S for sustainability. Companies who fail to green up their supply chain, says Volkswagen, will quickly find that they are no longer Volkswagen suppliers. As the price of solar panels and battery storage systems have dropped, more and more people are installing micro-generation systems at their home. And that's been upsetting some utilities, which have successfully lobbied in certain US states to penalize those who generate their own power, either through expensive fees or outright bans. This week, however, California became the latest state in the union to introduce what's being called the Solar Bill of Rights. Simply put, it lays out a series of measures to ensure that every person or business has the right to generate and store their own electricity without being subjected to discriminatory treatment from utilities or the government. And now it's time for short shorts. LG Chem has reportedly threatened to end its battery supply contract with Volkswagen if the automaker goes ahead with a plan to build three massive gigafactory-like facilities where it will produce EV batteries with LG Chem's rival SK Innovation. Negotiations are currently ongoing. Ford has issued a recall for its 2019 Fusion Energy plug-in hybrid after a gap was discovered in the access panel to the car's high-voltage drive unit. Ford is treating this as a, quote, compliance issue and says nobody has been hurt or killed because of it. Talks between the California Air Resource Board and the Trump administration over plans to roll back auto emission regulations have officially broken down. While California wants stricter emission standards, the White House broke off talks and said the plans would make cars too expensive. Ford has hired external investigators to examine its vehicle fuel economy and testing procedures after employees raised concerns over test compliance issues. The issues do not involve so-called cheat devices, but instead revolve around incorrect calculations being made during testing. Ahead of next month's Geneva Motor Show, Honda has teased another image of the updated urban EV that it plans to show there. Now called the Honda Tomo, the revised concept was designed in collaboration with a school of fashion and design in Torino, Italy. A bill has been introduced to the California legislature that calls for the construction of high-speed, no-limit, autobahn-like lanes along parts of the I-5 between Los Angeles and San Francisco. Its sponsors say that it will cut emissions and cut congestion, uh, but the faster you go, the more fuel you use. Physics. Kia has confirmed that deliveries of the e-Nero are being constrained by high demand and low supply of batteries. Like other automakers, Kia is saying that some customers may have to wait more than a year to get their new car unless things improve. Similarly, Kia's sister company Hyundai has confirmed that it just can't keep up with demand for the Kona Electric and as such, delivery times are stretching out for months and in some cases years. Until ZEV market states in the US have their full, the rest of the US will have to wait, says Hyundai. Despite low battery supply though, Kia Motors Europe has teased a new electric car it's going to unveil in Geneva. Currently a concept, the image, or what we can see, appears to be a sporty all-electric sibling to the Kia Stinger. We'll know more next month. 
Tesla released a fun YouTube video this week detailing its new sentry mode alarm system, as pushed to all Teslas in a recent software update. It shows the cookie monster trying to get into a locked Tesla with a tray full of yummy cookies inside. I was going to share it with you, but Sesame Workshop has issued a copyright strike against Tesla for it, and the video's been taken down. After shuffling some of its autonomous car team onto other projects, it appears that Apple's Project Titan isn't dead. Instead, as Manager Magazine reported this week, it's continuing a pace and instead of cars, it seems to be focusing on self-driving vans instead. Following increased reports of reliability issues by its readers in the reliability survey, Consumer Reports has dropped recommendations for the Tesla Model 3 from its company. Tesla has responded, saying issues reported have now been addressed and reliability is far better. Volkswagen has announced the latest version of its multivan, the Multivan 6.1, will be offered with a choice of drivetrains, including an all-electric variant with a choice of 38.8 or 77.6 kilowatt hours of battery pack capacity. Production starts this fall. A new automotive startup founded by the son of former Volkswagen boss Ferdinand Piech is heading to Germany with the Piech Mark Zero, a new Swiss-built all-electric sports car. The concept version will debut at the show, but leaked sketches look pretty good. And those are your short shorts. There will be more next week. Electric vehicle battery recycling is becoming a major concern as more and more EVs start to age and we've seen plenty of interesting applications over the years giving new life to electric car battery packs. Nissan's latest idea on the subject? To turn old Nissan Leaf battery packs into portable power packs that you can use to power off-grid adventures. It's a fantastic idea, but I think it would have been even better if the video showcasing it, the Nissan Energy Roam that is, used a Nissan Leaf rather than a Nissan X-Trail SUV. Back in the 1980s, Audi demonstrated how good its brand new Audi Quattro technology was by driving an Audi Quattro up a ski slope. And now it's done the same thing with an Audi e-tron. With safety measures in place, the e-tron, driven by world rallycross champion Matthias Ekstrom, blasted its way up the 85% grade of the Mausafala, or mouse trap, on the legendary Strife ski run in Austria. It's quite spectacular and shows how powerful electric motors are. Just don't try this at home, okay? <laughs> and finally, using an electric car battery pack as an emergency source of power when the electricity is off isn't exactly a new thing. I've done it before and in Japan, there are even regular drills in some prefectures to ensure power can be restored in an emergency to essential services. But use an EV to record an entire music video? That's something completely new. But it's just been accomplished by Volkswagen in Sweden with the help from electropunk artist Rain, covering the classic 1996 Eurodance hit Electric by Lelia K. Rain's music video production was completely powered by a Volkswagen E Golf from filming to editing. It's certainly very novel indeed. And on that note, it's the end of this week's show. Don't forget to like, comment and share and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on a single episode. If you want to support the network, you'll also find links below to Patreon, Ko-fi and our shop where you can buy yourself some Transport Evolved swag. And if you want to chat about the show, then there's also a Discord server. There's a link below so you can find that. I'll be back next week with more news, reviews and insight for you all to enjoy. But until then, I hope you have a fantastic weekend and don't forget to be better, kinder and smarter to one another. Keep evolving.